to get through. We didn't really have the best strategy, but the red flag saved us a little bit. Um, but I just put everything together really for Q3. My Q3 run one was pretty shocking. I think I was last. I think I was 10. We thought you did something wrong. Like I did. I made a couple of right. pretty big mistakes, but just, just yeah, wasn't wasn't there. And thankfully uh, not on camera. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, then um, just went back out on a new tire, reset a little bit, and, and did probably the best lap I did in qualifying. So. Um, very happy. I'm annoyed. Max is just a, a driver. I would have wished he just does something else with his life. But uh, yeah, for us to have a P2 and a P3, I think it's pretty, pretty special for us as a team here because we're celebrating so many things. So um, especially for me, having my home race here and, and so on in front of the crowd uh, was a yeah a fun qualifying. That was some roar from the crowd. Yeah, particularly when I heard you were them. Provisional pole. I definitely heard them. You did. You must have heard. I heard them. them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I did. We saw Zach also getting very. I heard Zach. I tell you what, I, I heard Zach. You did. I think that actually the first question you asked on Team Radio is Zach happy. I mean, it's because all I could hear was Zach. So <laughs> it's raw. Um, yeah, I mean, for for everyone in the team, it's it's great to see. We brought an upgrade, which we knew was going to help us take a good step forward. But to, to suddenly have a result like we had in Austria and to have a result like we've had today, I don't think we were expecting that just from this upgrade. I think. There's obviously other circumstances and other people making mistakes and uh, yeah, a number of different things that, that put it together. But the team have done a great job. The car is obviously quicker considering we're P2 and P3. Uh, but we're also good in days like this with the conditions like this. Um, Oscar always does a good job and they're, they're conditions that I've always enjoyed, um, especially like Q1. Being P1 as well was a nice little, little bonus. So um, a perfect day for us in front of our home crowd. But tomorrow you're going to have to rely on others making mistakes, capitalising on other opportunities. Have you got base space to hold back? It's a brilliant the question, Ferraris? Natalie. Um, In with the brilliant question. questions as ever. We'll see. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say we were this quick in Austria. I think we're, well, we're closer to P1 than we were in Austria, considering it's a much longer track and more corners and so forth. So um, I believe we have a chance to have a very good race. I have more hope here than I did in Austria. So. Um, uh, that's helped, yeah. um, but I don't want to be overconfident. I think we have two Astons, two Mercedes, two Ferraris behind us. So um, e either way, it's going to be a very tough race to keep them all behind, but we'll do our best. Well done today. Thank You're going to you. have to stick with the Chrome, you know that, don't you? Uh, yeah, I'll tell Zach, don't worry. <laughs>